fuck, what a beautiful episode. This episode revolved around Rin, but this time not like episode number, if I remember correctly, five? This one actually dove into her past. With Kaiju cells being stolen from Skip HQ, the main suspect is Satoru, Rin's former mentor when she was back in high school. It was great to see how much he helped her not only with choosing a major in college but getting her into skip and it worked amazing with her inner conflict wanting to believe he's still innocent because she clearly has a crush on him oh boy like this entire episode like you see her slowly and slowly realize that, like ah Satoru is not the same person as I remember him to really be because like I kind of saw him in still those rose tinted glasses because you can clearly see she even now still has a crush on him where you see her expression actually changes when he said oh i'm a new dad look at my baby i've been a dad for one year and she kind of like probably when he said i'm a new dad she pretty much kind of disconnected from the conversation and she needed to ask again it's like how old is your kid He's like, bro, I, I said, like, um, this is my first year of being a dad. It's like, ah. Or maybe she maybe thought he maybe adopted something. I don't know. Like, that could have changed. Maybe that could have been a thing too. Also, and I love the little detail of, like, when Rin was younger and he was talking and Satoru was on the phone with his fiance she was like looking at his finger like not only to see the tick but also was like it's specifically the hand that most of the time people will put rings like engagement rings on it so it is kind of cool to see and i love that he's really quote unquote trying to make himself look innocent how much he doesn't know that he's the main suspect but when she pretty much sees the tick that he does when he lies he kind of like have his finger on his bottom lip she pretty much understand that ah he's lying and she pretty much comes to him and is like hey uh, i can help you like i know you're the main suspect but uh, i'm willing to help you and literally pretty much after that she's just going on a rooftop and just crying and it's so sad to see like Rin is this very bright and very optimistic character, you can clearly see it, and seeing her really sad is sad to see, I don't know what to say, it's just, it's just horrible, I am sad for her. And Yuppie always being there, kind of trying to cheer her up, was like, aw, that Yuppie is the best, Yuppie is number one. And the moment she pretty much like came in to ambush Satoru was great because she was literally saying it to him like I'm not here to hurt you to do this for your own good and when Pagos arrived which I just loved the way they brought on Pagos and it's like pretty much you see the golden rainbow and it's like first thing first like fucking uh, Yuma's like oh my god it's Pagos it's like wow like you are for some odd reason giving this monster a big old like oh my god this is this guy i i get Pagos, but like i just love the granger they brought him on it's just cool and like when the fight is happening you get this really great moment where like you see you get to hear satoru's entire ideal of like hey i'm not stealing this for the money i'm making a small sacrifice for this future because here's the thing hey we've all of the powers that the monsters have yeah like we can make the future better but like most of the time they don't get it because of Ultraman because he literally destroys them so it is really interesting that like he does do this very illegal stuff but he does it for the right reason kind of and like I loved the way that the episode ended with, with Ark beating both Neronga and uh, Pagos. We get pretty much the final scene between Satoru and Rin and pretty much like Satoru lies to her to pretty much distance 
himself from her pretty much understanding that maybe him being in her life was a bad idea so he literally tells her like hey like i don't really remember our time together how much again kind of creepy she was slightly underage in that time and she pretty much had a crush on him so i don't know like how much that would have helped but fuck it crushed her and it's like fuck she was ugly crying which is great like I, I know it's weird, but it's not like the sexy kind of like Hollywood way of crying. It's like, ah, oh, she's literally broken up about it. And it's like, again, Yuppie, Yuppie's on the move. He's here to save her. And he was like, oh, I, I love how cute Yuppie is. And I love like he was really there to comfort her. And just kind of like, yeah, like who would have been there more than UP because UP is kind of like hey he's there to be like the heart of the show because like I don't see you much actually succeeding in comforting a girl he's like I don't know what to do and maybe the closest one would have been probably Bun oh Bun would have been great there too I think Bun would have been like a nicer one because like he could have bring brought on like the dad vibes I don't, I don't see like show even trying to comfort her like you might at least try but it shows like get yourself together I don't know like I haven't lost a man yet you see this young boy he's mine he's pointing at Yuma I don't know. And also, I did really like that they actually kind of gave us a little hint of, oh, who helped to make Yupi? It's Atero. I just found that kind of cool. But uh, yeah, like, I just love this episode. It was great, A, in my opinion. Like, it was pretty much the entire episode was a story about a young girl falling in love with an older man and she pretty much meets with him once again and when they're both older and pretty much her reality of who this man was pretty much was crushed in front of her eyes and she's mentally still not okay about it like fuck like you see how she reacts to Satoru pretty much fall from grace and you can see how much she pretty much maybe saved herself from a very toxic relationship and like the story of the episode was amazing the story of the episode was very grown up for a show that is a lot of people may think that oh my god it's for kids it's like no like hey first of all kids show can talk about this type of stuff and make it interesting but also it's like yeah that's ultraman ultraman would talk about this type of shit like fucking ultraman is back to his high concept era and i'm fucking great about it but oh fuck like visually this episode was amazing uh, it's a new director if i'm actually correct I think like um, he's not new to Tokusatsu from what I understand but he is very new to Ultraman so um, ah, what did he direct he directed a Final Fantasy thing from what I'm seeing uh, but yeah like this episode visually was fucking great this episode like uh, story wise was fucking great yeah uh, episode number nine gets a fucking S plus I don't give a shit, I think it's probably the best episode that ARK had ever. It's now, right now, at the top of the list. So uh, yeah, what you thought about ARK episode number 9? Comment below, let me know. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please, if you didn't watch my GAV episode 1 review, please do. Also, help your subscribe button to finally achieve his gacha of becoming a subscribed button. Don't forget, you're the only one that can prevent forest fires. And have a great rest of your day. Bye bye. <laughs>